Hello and a very warm welcome to Sort of Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on general equilibrium and economic efficiency. In case of any query with regard to any of our tutorials, you can contact us on this number. And if you wish to know more about us, you can check in our website. Now let us first read the question. There are two candidates here, Jane and Bob. So I have written Jane and Bob. Now Jane has 3 liters of soft drink, so 3 units and 12 sandwiches, so 12. And Bob, this is without treat. And Bob on the other had 8 liters of soft drink and 4 sandwiches. So 8 liters of soft drink and 4 sandwiches. With these endowments, Jane marginal rate of substitution of soft drinks for sandwiches is 4. Yes, it is because for 1 unit of soft drink, he will be willing to give away 4 units of sandwiches. And Bob's marginal rate of substitution is equal to 2. Now, we need to draw an Edgeworth box diagram to show whether this allocation of resources is efficient. Now, without even... Now, without even making the Edgeworth box diagram, we can comment that the resource allocation is not efficient. We will see how. Now, if it is, then explain why if it is not. If it is not, what exchange will make both parties better? So, this is, the exchange, this is what they are having without trade. That means, at the current location point, that means at the current location point, Jane is willing to give, is willing to trade four sandwiches for one drink, for one soft drink, soft drink. Or we can also say that she will give up, give up one soft drink in exchange for in exchange for four sandwiches both means the same thing okay and for bob is willing to trade two sandwiches for one soft drink or he will give up, we can say, one soft drink in exchange for two sandwiches. Both means the same thing. Now, if so, in order to acquire one drink, one soft drink, Jane will be giving up four sandwiches, okay? And... And Bob is willing to trade. He will give away one soft drink if he gets two sandwiches in exchange. Okay. So now we need to find an efficient solution. So if Jane gives Bob three sandwiches for one soft drink whether it bob will accept or not first of all bob will be willing to trade one soft drink if he gets two sandwiches here he is getting three sandwiches so bob will be willing to trade so bob will accept this bob will accept this this offer now let us see from the point of view of jane in order to acquire one soft drink, Jane was to give up. Jane was willing to trade four sandwiches. But now Jane has to only give up three sandwiches. So earlier she was giving up four sandwiches. Now she is giving up three sandwiches. So one sandwiches she has to give up less. So Jane is also better off from this deal. So... What we can write in this chart is this. 
so the offer is jane is giving bob an offer jane gives bob three sandwiches so three sandwiches in exchange for one soft drink so now let us see both are better off and let's see with trade how many of each good they are consuming so jane will end up consuming four drinks 3 plus 1 because she had three earlier one she is getting extra from bob so it becomes four and earlier she she ends up with and she give away and she give away so she ends up with four drinks and six sandwiches I'm so sorry let me make the alteration it will be 12 minus 3 Jane gives Bob 3 sandwiches so it will be 12 minus 3 and it will be 9 sandwiches she is left with now Bob actually gives away 1 soft drink to Jane so he is left with 7 soft drinks and in return of 1 soft drink he is getting three sandwiches so four plus three so he gets a total of seven sandwiches so after trade it will uh, with trade it will be jane ends up with four soft drinks and nine sandwiches while bob ends up with seven soft drink and seven sandwiches now both in this kind of deal both are better off and that's why the trade take place so trade makes both of them better off okay and this kind of so the exchange will make both the parties better off and this can be termed as if allocation of resources are efficient now okay so i hope this tutorial on general equilibrium and economic efficiency was helpful if it was please hit the like button Subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching.